while boosting benefits for the newly unemployed. Would you please talk about how this will impact the 37th district? This new proposal on unemployment insurance is going to help a lot for working families in the 37th legislative district. There are a lot of folks who unfortunately are struggling, as uh, most of the people in our state are and across the country, as it relates to the economy, and having the unemployment uh, benefits is going to be a nice plus. It's going to actually add an additional $100 a month for folks who are uh, on unemployment insurance, and this money should last us well into next year, and I'm really excited for the people that are in our district. You're sponsoring legislation this session to help working families support child care. Would you please tell us a little more about your work? This legislation that I'm sponsoring for enhancing child care subsidies that directly impact our district, I'm really excited about this. This will actually set a schedule in statute for how we help uh, the uh, facilities that are receiving subsidized child care meet the direct cost of care. Uh, up to this point, you know, it costs about $44 a day for the cost of care, and the state only reimburses $22 a day, and that gap has existed for a number of years. And so this bill is to, to help create a schedule and statute to narrow that gap. Kids in our district, I think they're the most valuable resource we have. And as a legislator in Olympia for the last nine years, that's been my primary focus. And so this legislation is really about helping kids uh, at the early ages of life, early stages of life, get the best education they possibly can. And right now, the subsidy rates are $22 less than the actual cost of care. And so this bill actually helps narrow that gap over a course of time and hopefully provide the quality education that I think all children should have.